Welcome to class. This quilt, which is known as a Bible quilt, is by the African-American artist Harriet Powers. Constructed of 11 panels, arranged in three rows, this quilt has been called a sermon in patchwork. What is unique and amazing about this Bible quilt is how Powers organizes, juxtaposes, and connects the individual story panels into a visual narrative. To interpret Powers' sermon, we need to read her quilt. We must pay attention to the arrangement of these panels and ask the question, how does the sequence of scenes in Powers' quilt fit with the Bible or depart from it? We are going to see that Powers has strategically and meaningfully interrupted the biblical narrative in at least two places. The top row has three scenes, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve with their son Cain, then Satan appears. In the second row, Cain murders his brother Abel, but then Cain is redeemed and blessed with a new family. In the next two panels, we see Jacob's dream and the baptism of Christ. In the bottom row, we see Christ as a child with Mary and Joseph. Notice the star of Bethlehem. Christ at the Last Supper. Judas with 30 pieces of silver. And finally, the crucifixion. There are two places where the order of the biblical narrative is interrupted. The first is the appearance of Satan, and the second is the birth of Christ. Both of these events are represented as disruptions in the flow of history. Satan's appearance signals a new era, an era of death. The birth of Christ also represents a new era in history, an era of salvation. There is also another way in which Powers breaks the flow in our reading of her quilt. That is in the directions of the narrative sequence. The panels in the top two rows read from left to right. However, the bottom row seems to read in the opposite direction, from right to left. Of course, it is possible that this reversal of direction is incidental. However, given that the rest of the quilt is so carefully designed, and since the bottom row reads perfectly from right to left, this choice would seem intentional. So let me ask, why do you think Powers might have designed the bottom row to read in a different direction? So if Powers believed that the birth of Christ represented a new era, perhaps she created this new direction of reading to signal to the viewer that history was taking a new direction. That is an interesting proposition. By creating a new direction in how we read the quilt, Powers was able to visualize the idea of a new way of looking at history and at the story that she was telling. While the question of why the bottom row reads in the opposite direction from the top two rows still remains unresolved, what we can know from this process of carefully reading the structure of this quilt is that Powers was a skillful and perceptive artist. She expected her viewers to read her quilt with a spiritual consciousness that is attentive to the visual sermon that she was preaching. 